Hey everybody, this is Mike in 2MDX, and today we're going to do a brief tutorial here on the Redivis uh, RT3S. There are a few videos out there, but some are a little confusing, especially when people are new to DMR. So I want to try to make it as basic as possible and use a friendly video. So first off, go to the Artivis uh, website. Uh, go to the RT3S, your radio. Right here where it says support, click that. Firmware and software, okay? You're gonna need the USB driver and the software, okay? Once you download that and set it up, connect your radio and make sure it recognizes, your computer recognizes the radio. You know, go into device manager and make sure it's it's connected. Um, that's first and foremost. There are videos on that if you have issues because sometimes Windows 10 can be a little funny. Okay. Anyway, once you download the software, here it is. It'll pop up like this. And if your USB drivers are working properly, you'll be able to read the radio like this. Okay. Let it read the radio. Now, I already programmed mine so you can get a basic idea of what's going on. All right. The first one is basic information. That's the first one here. I leave it the way it is as you see it. I don't change anything here. All right. Next one is general settings. This is where your DMR ID is going to be in. If you don't have a DMR ID, you have to go to uh, register a new one for a new DMR ID before you can actually use the DMR radio. So I'm sure if you got to this point, you already have one. So here you go. Put your DMR ID here. Put your name here. Okay. I don't change anything. Um, that's pretty much it. If you see these boxes say one, two, three. I usually just put all ones, um, just to simplify it a little bit. Look, X out of here. We could take this one off here. Menu item. I don't change anything but this one. Program radio, so you're able to program the radio from the front panel. Otherwise, if this box is not checked, bye bye. You can't do it. Uh, buttons, side buttons. I have it as power select, so I could change my level from low, medium, high. If I want to monitor, you know, break the squelch and scan feature which to tell you the truth i put this on and for some reason it's still not scanning so we'll have to get into that okay that's button definitions i don't touch texting privacy i don't touch and now we're going to go into um digital contacts that's where all your talk groups and your contact information so you want to set that all up i got one for tri-state worldwide tac 310 northeast north america Parrot, uh, Central New, Jer New Jersey ham, which I'm from New Jersey, so that's why I have lots of Jersey here. Uh, Ocean Mammoth uh, Radio, uh, Ocean New Jersey, America Link, uh, Brandmeister Bridge 3100, Brandmeister 3202. These are the ones I'm using for now just to test and have a little fun with. Okay, you get the talk groups from uh, Brandmeister. You can get them from DMR, uh, DMR sites. All the talk groups are there. These are the numbers that refer to these here. All right, so once that's done, we'll move this over here. Okay, great. Group list. Now, when you put these in, they're going to be on this side. All right, you hit the top one, and you hit add, 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 and you bring them all over here. Okay, so that's your group list. All right. Next, your zone. So this may look a little confusing, but it's really not. So I think they all are all here and all here on your first dot. So what I do is I break them up for VFOA and VFOB. You ever see like when you have two frequencies and you, you want to like hop from one to the other, let's say you want your simplex frequency you like to talk on, let's say, you know, you want a 520 call on frequency on VFOA and then VFOB, you have your common repeater that you like to talk on. Well, it's the same situation. So you could put your ocean, New Jersey on VFOA and, and so, and put the other, one that you would like on VFOB. So you have to split it up the way you like it. That's the way I did mine. Okay. I'll put that right there. Scan list. Um, I put in what I wanted to scan. Again, I'm still working on this. For some reason, I hit the hold this, the button on the side. And then go into scan mode. Hmm. Don't know. Just got this radio, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. All right. So that's that for the scan. Now we're going into channel information. These are where you set up your your channels, you know, from one through whatever 
I think this. I don't know where it goes up to. How many challenges you can have? I'm sure, it's a lot. Um, let's see. So I got my first one as an analog because I use this one frequency for myself. I'm on repeat a book with this for a little thing I got here in Beachwood, New Jersey. Uh, then I have next TAC 310 running this frequency from a Howl repeater. Group list one, that's this right here. TAC 310, TAC 310, it's referring to this group here, so it shows it. So this frequency, when it keys up on it, it goes to this group. See, key up here to this group, boom. Um, I put it on always, a lot of guys do channel free. I don't use the color code. Let's see, North America. Let's go to, yeah, Tri-State. This is a different frequency close to my home. Tri-State, group one, group list one, group list one. Tri-State, Tri-State, there's the talk group right here. So when it keys up on its frequency, it's going to this talk group. It's pretty simple. I mean, there you go. Central New Jersey, frequency I'm using to key up on it. It's going to this contact name, which is here on my contacts, Central New Jersey, 31340. That group list, boom, right here. And so on and so forth. Worldwide. Parrot, if you want to do some testing. And have another hotspot on the same frequency, but digital. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, that's it. America Link. So you use, you use the frequency that's closer to your home that supports um, Brandmeister. And use the frequency, group contact, America Link. Here it is, 31656. That's America Link, talk group. And there it is in group, group plus one, group plus one, America Link. And that's pretty much straightforward. After you're done with that, you hit... Um, this right to data to radio. I already did it, so you hit OK. Wait till it finishes. It takes about maybe 30 to 40 seconds tops. Um, it'll write to the radio. Then what I usually do is I'll turn off the radio, unplug it, and then turn the radio back on. After you're done with this, you have to close all these windows. You can either hit save. Well, you got to see. You're not going to be able to save. You're going to have to at least open this, and then you can hit save as, and then it'll open up, and then you can save. Or when you go to exit out, it'll ask you save changes. As you can see, my RGT file is MDX, right? So it's here, and I hit, and I hit yes, and it saves it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Any questions, you can reach me on uh, email on my QRZ page. I'll be more willing help and happy to help you. Email me, whatever. Um, could be easily contacted. It's not a problem. Thank you guys and have a great day.